Hello viewers, in this video we obtain the time part of price PT of the demand and supply models QD is equal to alpha minus beta P minus del into dp by dt qs is equal to gamma p where alpha beta and gamma are greater than zero we also explain the dynamic stability of the time part of price pt if the rate of change in price over time is directly proportional to excess demand and the adjustment coefficient being lambda where lambda is greater than 0 that is dp by dt is equal to lambda times of the difference between quantity demanded and quantity supplied or dp by dt is equal to lambda into qd minus qs here this is demand equation equation number one this is supply equation equation number two and this is the equation for the rate of change in price over time that is equation number three now substituting equation one and two in equation three we get dp by dt is equal to lambda times of alpha minus beta p minus del dp by dt minus gamma p so this is the value for is a value for qd and this is for value of qs After simplification, we get lambda alpha minus lambda beta plus this is gamma so p minus lambda del dp by dt. Now taking this portion into the left hand side we get dp by dt plus lambda del dp by dt plus lambda beta plus gamma into p equal to lambda alpha. Adding these two term we get 1 plus lambda del into dp by dt plus gamma sorry lambda into beta plus gamma into p equal to lambda alpha this implies dp by dt is okay sorry plus lambda beta plus gamma divided by 1 plus lambda del into p equal to lambda alpha divided by 1 plus lambda del this is equation number 4 equation 4 is a first order linear differential equation with constant coefficient this and constant term this it is first order because first order because the derivative is of first order that is this equation has first order derivative term and it is linear because the or degree of the derivative term is 1 so it is a first order linear differential equation with constant coefficient this and constant term this we know that the solution of this type of 
differential equation that is first order linear differential equation with constant coefficient a and constant term b is p0 minus b by a into e to the power minus a t plus b by a that is this is the general solution of this first order linear differential equation with constant coefficient a and constant term b now considering this term as a and this term as b we get the solution of equation 4 as pt equal to p naught minus b by a b by a or b means here lambda alpha divided by 1 plus lambda del and a means lambda beta plus gamma divided by 1 plus lambda del p equal to sorry it is not p into e to the power minus a a means this minus a t means a means this t plus b by a again b is this and a is this here we have to write again lambda alpha divided by 1 plus lambda del divided by lambda into beta plus gamma divided by 1 plus lambda del now this lambda del and this lambda del will be cancelled and this and this will be cancelled again this one and this one will be cancelled and this lambda and this lambda will be cancelled so finally we get pt is equal to p0 minus alpha divided by beta plus gamma into e to the power minus 1 plus into t plus alpha divided by beta plus gamma so this is the equation number 5 but the equilibrium price is obtained by equalizing demand and supply that is qd is equal to qs where the price will be the constant so dp by dt that is change in price will be 0 substituting the demand and supply equation we get alpha minus beta p minus since dp by dt is equal to 0 so in demand equation this term will be equal to 0 so here we put 0 equal to qs that is q is equal to gamma p after solving it we will get p bar equal to alpha divided by beta plus gamma therefore in equation 5 this portion is equal to p bar and this portion is equal to p bar 
So, equation 5 becomes P t equal to P naught minus P bar into e to the power minus this plus this portion is p bar so it will be the p bar so this is equation number six therefore equation six is the time part of price p t of the demand function this and supply function this where the rate of change in price over time is directly proportional to the excess demand and the adjustment coefficient is lambda now for dynamic stability the value of the exponent in equation 6 should be positive that is the value of this term should be positive that is or that means lambda into beta plus gamma divided by 1 plus lambda into into del it is not gamma del this is also del should be greater than 0 so the value of this exponent this term that is equal to this term should be greater than 0. Since beta, gamma and lambda is greater than 0 that is the value of beta, gamma and lambda are greater than 0 or positive since they are positive. So, to be positive uh, to be this term be positive so we again since this uh, beta gamma and lambda is positive or this also positive so 1 plus lambda del must be positive that means gamma del must be greater than minus 1 or lambda del must be less than 1 or del must be less than 1 by lambda. Therefore, the restriction on delta is delta must be less than 1 by lambda for dynamic stability of the time part of price Pt in equation 6. Thank you.